Hello everyone, welcome to Geology Concepts. Now in this video, we will see about Earth and planetary system, mainly focus on the solar system. As you can see in this figure, this is our solar system. So we will discuss the terrestrial planets in detail and uh, we will start our Earth and planetary playlist or the series of video. Okay, so let's get into it. First, we have the solar system. Okay, so in the solar system, we have these first four planets Earth, Ma Ma Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. These are called terrestrial planets. Okay, and then there's this asteroidal belt, and then we have Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. Uranus, Neptune, then Pluto sorry to say or uh, unfortunately is now not a planet it's a dwarf planet so it will not be considered in the list of the planets okay so we'll start with mercury and till mars we'll see it in detail so these are jovian planet we'll not look into the detail these are all actually made up of gases jupiter the they are called jovian planet because you know the, the <laughs> something which is related to jupiter is called jovians so all these group of planets are called jovian planet they all are made up of gases similar in nature to Jupiter okay then uh, okay so let's start first is mercury so mercury is the closest and the smallest planet its uh, eccentricity is 0 0.206 which is a very high value oh eccentricity if we see it is actually a number which is defined as e is equal to under root 1 minus b square minus a square whereas b and a are the minor and the major axis of an ellipse so if this is an ellipse this distance is um, a major axis and this distance is the minor axis so, and this value gives e so you can understand from this that the value of e will always lie between 0 and 1 okay one is the maximum when it is the b value is very small its ellipse is almost like in a straight line okay and uh, when it is zero ellipse is a circle okay so okay the rotation period is 58.8 days the here days comprises the earth days so the days there are longer you can say then radius is 2439 kilometer the temperature is very high it can be 700 degree and can be very low to about 100 Kelvin density is about uh, 5.4 gram per cc now this is an interesting fact that mercury day is longer than a mercury year okay now can you so in the comments this is the first question I am putting at you is can you explain why there is a temperature difference so high in mercury okay it has something to do with this point okay so please mention in the comment if you have figured it out okay next going on we have venus venus is like a sister planet of earth why because the radius is almost uh, similar to that of earth earth's radius is 6400 kilometer uh, Venus radius is 6120 kilometer, density is 5.2, Earth's density is around 5.5. Okay. Then the brightest after sun and moon. It is brightest after sun and moon, hottest of the planets. It is hottest of the planets. Eccentricity is 0 0.007, which is a low value. The means that the orbit is almost circular. Okay. Then there is no detectable magnetic field in Venus. If you can tell me, the second question I'm going to put to you is why do you think Venus is hottest? Why not Mercury is hottest? Mercury is closest to the Sun. Venus is second from the Sun. Why it is the hottest planet? Okay. Try to figure out the answer. Moving on. We have our Earth. Okay. So let's see. Eccentricity of Earth is 0 0.0167 and it is decreasing so which means that it is the orbit is becoming circular 
the point is the eccentricity is fluctuates uh, eccentricity of earth fluctuates between 0 0.0034 to 0 0.060 okay it doesn't go higher than this or lower than this okay it fluctuates between these two points the distance from the sun is 1.5 into 10 to power 8 kilometers which is also called as astronomical unit one astronomical unit is distance between earth and sun the tilt of the axis so if you see this is earth this is the line which is perpendicular to the equatorial plane then the axis about which the earth rotates this angle with the this uh, normal to the equatorial plane is called the tilt the tilt these uh, presently the tilt of earth is 23.49 degrees degree and uh, maximum tilt can be 24.3 degree and uh, minimum can be 21.9 okay so this is it for the earth now there are some properties of earth which we need to see in detail but before that we'll see mars okay so mars is the planet we are trying to reach as you all know india has sent mangalyaan 1 are preparing to send mangalyaan 2 okay so now eccentricity is 0 0.0934 radius is 3389 which is half of the radius of the earth almost half this is called red planet why this is called red planet because uh, it appears red in color but this is not the reason reason is because the surface is uh, made up of iron oxide present there so iron oxide as we know is red in color okay and this is the second smallest planet after mercury and uh, let's see if we can have colonies in uh, mars start making buildings there growing plants starting a civilization <laughs> Well, Elon Musk is very confident about it. Okay. So, moving on. There is this term called Melankovitch cycles. So, Melankovitch cycles is the variation in Earth's eccentricity, axial tilt, and precession. So, what is it? Is precession. Okay. Then, eccentricity. Eccentricity, the period is about 100,000 years. Okay. That is one lakh years. So eccentricity, as we say, it was about uh, the ratio one under root uh, one minus uh, major axis divided by mi minor axis divided by major axis whole square. So this value changes or uh, fluctuates between two numbers, and the period it takes is about one hundred thousand years. Then there is axial tilt. Axial tilt uh, of Earth presently is twenty three point four, but it varies from twenty one point nine to twenty three point some value so that that period is 41,000 years okay and then there is precession what is precession so if you see this is the axis the tilt axis or the axis of the earth it also rotates about it so it means that if you see from top it rotates like this about the center of the if we run a equatorial a line perpendicular to equatorial plane it it there's a precession about it okay like this so this precession takes about 23,000 years. The periodicity of this precession is 23,000 years. Okay, so this is for this video. I mean, uh, we will move on and we will see in detail about the earth surface, earth structure and various other properties related to earth. Now, zooming into the earth, we will explain all the G values, difference in G value at different places Okay, in the next video. Okay, till then, please, uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel and comment comment the answer for the two questions that i have put and uh, see you in the next video okay thank you subscribe to know your planet better